guys, it's Kelly. Mari and I are back today with another process video. Today's challenge is to use the Paige Evans collection Fancy Free. And I decided to use this heart cut file that is free if you are a not a member of the Hip Kit Club, but you just have to register on their site. They have files that are free to download um, each month. And so this is one of those that was designed by Ashley Horton. And this was one of several files that she actually had in a bundle. And I just took the heart and enlarged it. So I have bits and pieces of her collection. I have a few of the 12 by 12 sheets and I have the six by six paper pad and the chipboard and the puffy stickers. And I just got a hold of the titles. So I knew that I wanted to use one of the glitter titles for this page as well. And I decided that since this photo that I'm going to be scrapbooking is of my stepfather and my two kids, that I wanted to try to keep the colors on the more masculine side. And I would use the turquoise glitter as my, part of my title. And actually it ended up being my title, not part of it. So I decided that I would focus on the darker colors. Now I did cut out a lot of the gluing because it's very tedious, but I actually enjoy that part. And I backed the heart with some craft foam. And the other thing that I did off camera was I stitched all around the edge of the heart and in between all of the pieces, it's, I guess kind of like the stained glass effect. And I thought I was going to break my machine as I was doing this. The gear was grinding. It was catching the thread at the bottom. I have no idea what I was doing, but I was just very thankful that I was able to finish my page without killing my machine. And you know, I'm a hardhead. I was determined that I had already started this. I loved the look and I was not going to like halfway stitch my heart and be content with that. I had to messy stitch all around it. So if I had broken it, it really would have been my fault. But, you know, um, a scrapper's got to do what a scrapper's got to do. So I decided to pull out some tissue paper and back the photo. I didn't want to bring in any more patterned paper necessarily just because I felt like the patterns behind the heart were enough. And I also have not used a doily in a while, so I decided to pull that out as well and add just a little bit of a feminine touch with this since my daughter's in the photo as well. So I'm just adhering everything just to make sure it's not going to move around. And I had pulled some of the things that I thought that I might use on that left hand side. I have been enjoying doing that lately just because it seems to take some of the the guesswork out of what I want to use and I just find right now that's working for me. So I do have some buttons that I am going to put around the page and I've decided that I really wanted to keep the embellishment to this fairly simple. For me I feel like when I have this you know beautiful cut file with all of these pattern papers I want your eye to have places to rest with white space and then I also want you to be able to appreciate all of the little details that are around the page. You know, so for me, less is usually more. Some other people can do more is more and it look absolutely beautiful. I just can't get away with that without it looking like um, a sticker or an embellishment sneeze has happened on my page. So I am going to thread a little bit of this crochet thread in between the holes of all of the buttons. And I decided that for the largest one, I would tie a little bow. And the other two, I'm just going to thread the button and adhere it down like that. I just got my hands on the, the thicker words for this collection and I love them just like I love just about every other thicker word collection I've gotten my hands on. 
the glitter is just so pretty and you know I used to think that glitter was only for holidays but now I think glitter and bling can be good for anything and you know while the title best ever is probably overused and I probably have several pages that are called best ever you know for me it's okay it's just you know another memory documented um, for me I didn't have to you know bust myself trying to think of a title I love the script font and you know so for me I am very happy to use a title that I've used you know several times before so this is pretty much it with my layout um, please check out Mari's channel I will link it below and check out and see what she has done with Paige's collection and again we are always open to challenge requests so if you have something that you would like to see us do please let us know so this is pretty much it I'm gonna take some Heidi shine this is in the teal color and I am going to put that on a couple of spots around the page and you will see that I have to shake it pretty uh, decent you know a couple of people have had problems with their Heidi swap color shine and I find that until you hear the ball going back and forth you, you need to shake it until at that point if you do not hear the ball even if you think there is no ball you need to keep shaking it because there is a ball and once you hear that ball go back and forth it is properly mixed and you won't have the rings that occur so that's it thanks so much for joining me and I will see you soon take care bye